fuck is up. You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another episode of the goddamn Nasty Sports Update. Today, we are sponsored, yet unsponsored by Charmin Ultra. Because sometimes, you just gotta get some shit off your chest. Let's <laughs> get into a few fucking topics. <laughs> Listen. Oh, you got two MVPs, huh? Oh, you got James Harden and Russell Westbrook, huh? No, oh, nigga, it's LeBron James. Up to one. AD. Oh, you still don't want to give AD the motherfucking defensive player of the year. And you give it to that nigga who just lost 4-1. We'll see. We'll see. Because championships matter more than awards, let me tell you. And if you give that uh, a MVP award, again, that LeBron should have been won for 10 years in a row to that nigga Giannis, we'll see what happens. See, because the difference of it is is that LeBron could win MVP, will should win MVP, and should and will win the finals. See, I said should and will, will and should. I don't know about you, but will and should and should and will should probably be synonyms, but they not. Not synonyms, not like cinnamon, but synonyms. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? See, because I remember back when you used to talk about LeBron. You used to say he was in the Eastern Conference. He was in, oh, especially that bum-ass nigga with that, oh, with that bullshit-ass cinnamon-ass hair that stands across of Shannon, who actually played in real sports. And, hey, e- even though I may have not been in a professional league, guess what? I'll beat the shit out of that boy. Hmm. Water pistol. Talk to me. But we want to talk about if LeBron James right now was in the Eastern Conference or any time other that he was in the Eastern Conference, let's talk about it. When was the last time LeBron was in the Eastern Conference and didn't go to the finals? I'm talking about uh, maybe eight times in a row. So it would have been a shit. Eight times in a row is 21 at that point in time. Actually, because last year he was in the Western Conference, so I would have been 20. You do the mass. What the fuck we talking about? Oh, the Eastern Conference was the Eastern Conference was that bad, huh? But somehow last year the the Raptors won from the Eastern Conference, but who did they play? Oh, they played the 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 Warriors. Who did the Warriors not have? Hold on. Did that motherfucker Kevin Durant didn't play but one game for four minutes? Did that motherfucker Clay Thompson tor- tear his ACL? Oh, but we don't talk about none of that. I'm just lost. I'm just lost. I'm just lost. And now we sitting there talking about the same Easter conference that Giannis is supposedly the best, that got the best record, and this nigga is at home sitting with his leg up on the couch. This nigga got three pillows underneath his leg right now. Against the Heat. Bro, let me tell you something. When LeBron left the Heat, how many times did they go to the fucking playoffs? It's like when Peyton Manning left the Colts. When LeBron, when LeBron leaves teams, them niggas don't even go to the off. You know what happens? Them niggas go to the lottery. And I ain't talking about the one that got the tree on it. I'm talking about the one that hopefully got me on it. And I ain't no Uber, nigga. I'm just going to bet to say, hey, shit, I know who the best nigga is. See, a lot of you niggas is lame, bro. A lot of you niggas only look at certain shit that curves, curbs your enthusiasm. Shout out to that motherfucker uh, that's best friends with Jerry Seinfeld. Hey, Larry, I don't know what to say, shit. You got the unicorn head. Instead of go this way. (laughs) The fuck? Bro, all I know is this. Giannis is out, 4-1. Got put out by the Heat. Let me tell you this. If the Heat somehow make it to the dance... If they make it to the dance, whether it be against the Lakers or the Clippers, them niggas is getting 4-0 swept. 
This nigga Jimmy Butler went from 70,000 different teams. He played against the Bulls with LeBron. Get him out of here. He played against the Wolves with LeBron. Get him out of here. He played against the Sixers with against LeBron. Get him out of here. He Now he's with the Heat, the old team that LeBron played for. Do you think that that's going to happen? What the fuck is we talking about? Then you niggas want to talk about, uh, 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 you know, uh, what, the Celtics? Do you not remember what LeBron did to them niggas by himself? Are you niggas stupid? Look at my hair. I look stupid. Look like Coolio. But guess what? Nigga, the fuck is you niggas talking about? I'm just trying to tell you, dog. Football is coming up soon. Shout out to Ryan Shazier, man. That that was going to be my, that's, that's my cool down. Ryan Shazier says that he's um retiring. We all know he had a crazy spinal injury, you know, and one thing for sure, two things for certain. I've never I love I've never seen a man with that much um fight in him that says, you know what, no matter what, I'm not gonna be paralyzed. I don't know. What that takes. I don't know how you do that. But what I do know is this. I'm so happy for him. And I'm so proud of him. And I'm so happy for that Pittsburgh organization. Who has been a staple in the NFL. For years and years. To show that. They didn't get rid of his contract. Because it wasn't his fault. That that happened. He was a cog. He was the captain of those defenses. And a Pittsburgh Steeler team that is the Steel Curtain, which goes to the defensive side of the football. Hey, Ryan Shazier, I just want to tell you that we love you over here, you know, especially at the Nasty Sports Update, the Overdose Productions. Um, and, you know, I joked on Giannis. I, Giannis, I don't want you to be hurt forever, bro. I want to make sure that, you know, you had a – tough ankle injury, and I know that you're taller and the way that you play basketball is different than everybody else. And sometimes with the taller players and the player that's limber like you, sometimes that can ruin your career. I don't want you to ruin your career, but I also want you to know, and I want the people out there to know, that that's the greatness of LeBron James. We need to realize that Kawhi Leonard, you playing against the Nuggets tonight, baby, again. And when you see this, it'll be Nuggets versus Lakers, or Nuggets versus Clippers. It's going to be, this is a tough game. This is a tough game. And Jokic, boy, you a beast. Hey, man, this is possibly the best sports we're going to see for the rest of 2020. And you motherfuckers out there that's looking at me and that's looking at these games need to realize that this is the greatest amount of sports we're going to see for this year. This has been the greatest, the dopest, the most influential, the smartest, the funniest sports commentary in under 10 minutes. We'll see you next time.